Okay, so um, that's a cool update. It's good to see all that stuff spline out. Uh, I think it all works pretty well. That's also a like that moment there. I think the biggest issue I have, not issue, but tweak wise, timing wise, will be the ending and something at the beginning. So as you continue uh, refining this, I would watch out how, to me, his route, as he goes down here, it feels like you got like sudden acceleration in your route where you can see how he kind of comes to stop here and then this guy starts to move and then the root starts to move. They're all kind of tied together at the same time. And the root suddenly accelerates and slows down. Accelerates, slows down. So I would, as you continue on, you know, it feels like your speed is kind of like this. Fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. And if you could just smooth it out a tiny bit, it's a bit less pose to pose and moment to moment, just a tad. And then you start offsetting legs a bit. So like this guy would start going just a bit earlier and then this guy pushes off. That makes him go down here. Um, and then as you do that, for instance, on this foot, as you push this, you can see how the foot doesn't really move. I'm covering this. See, the foot doesn't really move. So as you continue refining and you push, that foot will go you know, a bit down here. It will tilt a bit this way. So you want to feel those contact points. Same thing when the hand goes forward, you see that elbow is bending, but then that wrist is totally locked, IK mode, so as it goes forward, that wrist can have a slight curvature, a curvature, a slight turn this way, just with adjusting, the fingers can do things, that's just all for down the line. But the main thing watching this part is that there's sudden, whoop, 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 sudden acceleration that don't feel as tied together um, with the legs as they could be. It feels animated as opposed to as opposed to originated from from the body and animated I mean it just moves without logical reason it's almost like an insect you know that's the other thing is it feels too fast and it doesn't feel like it's tied to his the body and his weight so if that was like a small little gecko or something I could I could buy it just not a human comes down here and then when he's done here, he stops and goes up and does the turn. I think it's still be neat just to have a little moment of stopping and then the head tilts up just a bit first to look, okay, well, I'm looking down here, right, whatever. And I'm going to look here just a bit. Okay, well, this is probably the safe zone to jump. Then you got same thing here. As it's overall, it's kind of the same notes overall. And I'm sure you're totally aware of this. I'm just mentioning what I'm seeing. Um, as you do this, it all feels moving at the same time. I would probably lead with the head. So the head goes down first, then the butt goes later for that turn. Uh, if you look at his hands, they're here and then here, so that's a bit linear in your spacing. You could probably, and they all both have to leave at the same time. So ease that out a bit more and you could potentially leave one guy just a bit longer. You know, and then as he goes off, that's when he uh, takes his hands off. That offset here is cool. I like that bounce there. Shoo, boom. So watch this. Shoo. That's cool. Uh, when he comes down here, same thing. I see his head moving a couple of frames earlier, and then the hand and everything. But I will go from looking this way to about here this way and leave your hand on the ground everything stays the same right just the head is moving with a slight rotation on your chest and then all that moves and your arms kind of stop at the same time they're also kind of at the same height so you can kind of offset this maybe you can bring up that arm just a bit higher this guy a bit more in just to get a bit of offset in your poses That's not bad. Again, probably a bit more with the head, just a bit before this guy moves. Just clear, clear offsets. That's cool. I really like this here. But the thing that when he goes over here, the odd thing about this one, just acting choice wise, 
but we can just kind of help it a little bit. Like he looks here, looks here, and then grabs the thing. And it would be neat for him, because if he's looking, he doesn't quite know where what is. So if he goes over here, I will go here. All right. Start from here to here, maybe here, right? 93. A bit slower. Hold it a bit for maybe three frames. And then do the last turn, but just headwise, and not body. Heads um, at the very end. So, hold on. All right, I was grabbing my camera. So, when he comes down here, right now he's going here and then looks over there. And what I'm trying to say is that he gets here, looks around, and has one last fast move. So, he comes down, looks over here, or whatever direction he goes first, right? Comes down, looks, and then does that. It's basically that a feeling of slow and then a quick move at the end. So that we know that he is looking around, hasn't seen anything, and then he got that last fast move here shoo, and then hold that for maybe seven frames or something seven ten frames so he goes <gasps> and it's enough time for him to register and understand what's going on and then once that happens then he decides okay this is where I have to go this is where I take my weapon so then he grabs this and and then he has that little that feels a bit too post to pose so stops moves up continues but I'm sure you totally know that I'm just mentioning this is what I'm seeing uh, when he stops here I will probably bring up that arm a bit higher um, because your spear is right here <clears throat> and as of, and now uh, these guys are overlapping so the silhouette is a bit muddled and you could potentially bring up that arm out as well for the spear so it's not the arm doesn't sit at his butt right now and has that thing coming out so for this part, I will probably stop, and then as he goes up, continue going forward a tiny bit. So he comes, he can stop, and it looks a bit like well, well, actually no, he stops because maybe the creature is seeing him, right? So it could be what, and goes back, right? So he would stop, and as he goes up, he goes back a bit. So I take that note back. So his head would be then maybe back here. So the root would be here, and as he goes up, it might be up here, where he might just push himself back a tiny bit. It's a horrible drawing. All right, because over here, same thing here, offset things where I'll probably bring in that arm a bit earlier. Because like that, the leg here and this guy, kind of they move up at the same time. If you watch this, so you kind of get that same rotation at the end. Just something offset there. That's cool. So and here you can add a little sub pose. So this is your pose to get up there, right? So he goes up, but then you can add one little more to that. So he goes up, and then one last little lean forward and look. Make sure the coast is clear. And I think to go back and go, and we're like, oh, what happened? that wouldn't be as relaxed so you can kind of push the pose a tiny bit so give him shoulder up a bit here uh, and bring up that thing so it's a bit more like huh what's going on as opposed to relax what am I looking at it's a bit more a bit more tense in the posing and then he goes into this so same thing here he got the root and his arm moving at the same time the leg is almost at the same time so you can kind of start offsetting that a bit more, right? Like this, and then repeat the arm off, and then head down, lean over, and then it's a step. Then watch out, you got how this arm rotates. It feels like it's it's just your elbow. So you're going like this, and suddenly it just goes like that, as opposed to him going with his arm first and then the elbow. Adjust depending on, on where the arm is, right? So you don't want to just do a pull, ve a pull vector change. But you have this and the arm goes back first, like this part, right? This part goes back and then the elbow follows. And then when you come here, same thing. You don't want to have your <clears throat> spear totally horizontal because it's a weird posing. So give this maybe a bit of a tilt down and you can see a bit more of that, um, that elbow. If you do your squinty test, 
screens, right? So you have kind of a rough outline of your silhouette. It feels like you just got a small alarm there. Even here, you don't want the elbow bends towards camera. You always want it a bit off so we can see the bend in the in the elbow. So it will be more like that. Right. And then for the last thing, he goes over here and then see how he that's his anticipation to throw and he's fairly straight. So if we need to get not that the body would go back as far, but imagine it would be a bit more a bit more tilted, right? The head is back here, the guy is back there. It's horrible drawing, but you know, so it's not just eh, but it's really, really going back. And you hold that a couple of frames longer than what you have here, because you're going back and then he throws, and again it's too horizontal. So go back a bit and it will be, you know, a bit more tilted. Hold it a bit longer, so you can hold it a bit longer, you know, a bit offset, and you can have that foot a bit more in the air, type of thing, and then get into this, which is fine, All right? Yeah, that's about it. All right. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.